especially for animals on exhibit, we need to be able to train them so that we can monitor their health or check on certain parts of their body safely without having to have unprotected contact. So the keeper staff will do as much as they possibly can before the vets come up there. So they will have them target trained so we can check their nose, we can check their paws, we'll have the cats you know, stand up so we can check their belly. Numerous different training techniques. We have our chimps trained so uh, we're starting to get our chimps trained so that we can give them hand injections okay. or uh, our giraffes are, trying to, are being trained to give to mouth injection injections. Training? Is that part of changing the animal's behavior? No, not really. We always try to have them exhibit natural behaviors. A lion is always naturally going to rear up on its paws if it feels threatened. We don't want to threaten our, t our lion in order to do this, but we use that natural behavior to our benefit in order to enable us to see parts of their body. And, and how difficult is that to get that training to work and, and to work well for the vet staff? It depends on the behavior. Uh, certain behaviors are, are much more difficult. If an animal is readily doing that behavior over and over, we'll start rewarding that behavior instantly. So the first time we see, you know, the otter open his mouth and we want that to be the new train, the new trained behavior, we'll give him a command and we'll reward him. We'll give him lots and lots of rewards until he starts picking up that this behavior goes along with this amount of reward. So it really depends on the behavior. Also, some animals are just stubborn and they don't want to do a particular behavior and we can't, we can't force them to do anything they don't want to. And Brooke, my last question is this, is that it, I'm understanding that, that a lot of zoos now are really that's working that's together that's and trading information as, as, in terms of what works, what Stay doesn't here. work. Is that what the Sacramento oh, Zoo is doing? Stay Definitely, up. yes. Um, zoos Good. are not in competition with one another. We're not trying to race to be the best zoo. We're all here to get out our conservation me message and to also help um, well, spread dropped. the word about endangered species, about different behavior techniques. Good. So we're constantly out on listservs telling them how we trained our blue and gold macaw or how, what kind of training techniques we use for our otters. So we're constantly, um, sorry, we're constantly exchanging information between zoos.